Hi everybody and welcome to another edition of Endless Golf. I'm your host Bobby Vermillion. Today we're back in my hometown of Ocean City, Maryland at the beautiful Lynx at Lighthouse Sound. In just a moment we'll be joined by head golf professional Scott Daly to show us around this terrific Arthur Hills design, so stay with us. Welcome to Endless Golf with Bobby Vermillion. Endless Golf is brought to you by Ocean City, Maryland. Visit OCOcean.com for great deals and discounts. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Visit us at geico.com or call 1-800-947-AUTO. The Green Turtle Sports Bar and Grill with over 25 locations. Meet you at the Turtle. And by Ocean City Golf Getaway. Book your Ocean City Golf trip at OceanCityGolf.com. Joining me at the beautiful Lynx at Lighthouse Sound here in Ocean City, Maryland is head golf professional Scott Daly. Scott, great to have you back on the show. Thanks a lot for having me, Bobby. Appreciate it. We've got another gorgeous day, day to talk about this wonderful Arthur Hills Design Golf Course located uh, overlooking the skyline of Ocean City, Maryland. And we always talk about, Scott, what a perfect setting for a golf course. It is, and the front nine is absolutely magnificent. The views of the Ocean City skyline and the Asselman Bay, is, it's unbelievable. Let's take a look at the front nine. We'll begin with a terrific par four, number four, and number four works your way back to the skyline of Ocean City, and it really is a very challenging golf hole. A great golf hole. I mean, the tee shot is demanding you know, to hit a great tee shot into the middle of the fairway, and then you're hitting it to a very narrow green on number four uh, with the backdrop, Ocean City backdrop. We're standing on the back tee of number five, the terrific par three here at the Links at Lighthouse Sound. This is a tee box that you don't want to challenge if you're not like a, a two or three handicap or a scratch player because it's a 200 yard carry to a green that just sets out on an island. But this golf hole is really a fun golf hole to play if you play the correct tees. If you play the correct tees, it can be a challenge. Even from uh, you know our forward tees, you, any day you could maybe hit nine iron to maybe even a, a four iron. It really is, and you know, it's a 150 yard shot from the members' tees here at Lighthouse Sound, but it is a challenging golf hole, as you alluded to, and certainly is gorgeous as well. And then number six. Number six features an island tee box that kind of sits back in the bay, and your tee shot there, very intimidating. It is the sixth tee box, it's probably one of the most beautiful tee boxes I've ever played on. Um, but the winds, whatever the winds may be, calls for you know a shot to be hit down down the middle of the fairway to the left hand side, and then you got to avoid the bunkers. Well, I will say this: if you're going to hit that tee, uh, tee shot anywhere on six, it's got to be left because right the bay is just all the way down the right hand side on that golf hole. Let's talk about the hole we're going to play first on the back nine, and we always talk about this: the back nine very different here at the Links at Lighthouse Sound, much more tree line, a Parkland style golf course, and it really works its way back to the St. Martin's River and number eleven, a terrific par three kind of starts your trek back to the back nine. It is beautiful. You cross that the longest cart bridge in America to the ninth hole and we start the Parkland holes. The eleventh hole, very demanding tee shot again for a par three. That's a very narrow green. Uh, you know, your precision has to be very well. You have to pick the right club there and wind's always a factor on number 11. And uh, we, we take a look as we go to that par three. If you knock it on the green, your trouble doesn't end because that can be a challenging two putt from if that pin placement is in the back left in particular. Back left, I mean, there's a big hump there in the middle of the green. Uh, you know, that, the greens are very fast here. Usually that ball gets away from you. Next thing you know, you got a 12 footer coming back. <laughs> Let's see what we're challenged with this morning. See if we can't knock it on, maybe make a birdie or try to sneak out of there with a par. All right, here we are. We've made ourselves to the back nine here, the St. Martin's River out there in the front of us. Uh, here we are on the par three at number 11. It looks like the pin's here in the middle. And today. the good news, Scott, it's not on that back left, which is a tough position as we talked about earlier. It is. This looks like a favorable pin, pin position. You just need to put a good swing on it and hit it on the green here. Good looking shot. It's right at it. That it's is right at there. it. Get in the hole. What a great shot. Thank you. All right, Scott. Well, one of the features of this Arthur Hills design is he has elevated the green. So if you miss the green, you definitely pay the price. So I'll take it anywhere on the dance floor. You hit a great shot there. Thanks once again. Yeah, the up and down, you know, getting up and down here is uh, definitely a challenge. So knock one on the green here, Bobby. All right. Oh, that looks good. We'll take it. Get up a little bit. Right on right. the front edge. Just on the front. We'll take Not it. Not bad. 
Well, Scott, I'll tell you what, the first part of the equation we saw, we knocked it on the green. You had a lot better shot than I did. I've got a tough two putt from here. I think you can do it. Would you like me to attend it? That'd be great. Thanks. Pretty straight, just uphill. Uphill now. Turn in here. Tell you what, I'll take that. That's a pretty good putt. I even give you that one, Bobby. <laughs> we'll take it. Good par. Thank you. You're a good man. I know you're giving me that because you're going to make yours. Well, I'll put the pressure on myself here. I tell you, we talked about it. This pin, if this pin is back left, I tell you, it's a really difficult golf hole. And I uh, got a little break today. A pin placement that's definitely uh, approachable and you can make it two on. So knock it in. All right, I'll try to make it. It's a little left to right. Oh, that right on the putt. edge. That's good, bro. Oh, thank you. All right. What a fun golf hole to play, Scott. I tell you, you can't pick a more perfect day than today to play this terrific Arthur Hills design. When we come back, we'll play the par five, number 18, here at the Lynx at Lighthouse Sound. So stay with us. Whatever the season, you'll surely have the time of your life in Ocean City. Golfers will find 17 area championship golf courses, including Ocean City's own Eagles Landing, Ocean City Golf Club features a totally redesigned and rebuilt Newport Bay course. Rum Point overlooks Assateague Island National Seashore and the Cinepuxet Bay. Lighthouse Sound offers a great variety in terms of both its great visual excitement and strategy. The newest addition to the Ruark Golf family is the Glen Riddle Golf Club. Baywood Greens offers golfers the most scenic and spectacular golf on the Delmarva Peninsula. Golf at the Bay Club is as beautiful as it is challenging. Delaware's premier golf course is the Bayside Resort Golf Club. Bear Trap Dunes Golf Club offers one of the area's most unique and memorable golf experiences on the Eastern Shore. Ocean Pines Golf and Country Club is home to the Delmarva Peninsula's only championship golf course designed by the legendary Robert Trent Jones Sr. Ocean City, Maryland, close to home, close to perfect. Great Ocean City Spring Stay and Play packages available. Two night stay and three rounds of golf starting at only $2.16 per person. Visit OceanCityGolf.com for all the stay and play specials. Here in Philadelphia, you can access a Philly cheesesteak anytime, day or night. Just like you can access Geico anytime, day or night. There's only one way to celebrate this unique similarity. Witness the cheesesteak shuffle. Cheesesteak, cheesesteak, it's the cheesesteak shuffle, huh? Every day, all day, cheesesteak, cheesesteak. Every night, all night, cheesesteak, cheesesteak. 9 a.m. cheesesteak. 2 p.m. cheesesteak. 4 a.m. cheesesteak. Anytime. Run. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Welcome back to the beautiful links at Lighthouse Town here in Ocean City, Maryland. Staying with me is head golf professional Scott Daly. And Scott, we had a chance to talk about number six just a few moments ago in our last segment, but really, what a great setting for a golf hole. An island tee box, kind of stuck out here right in the Asher Woman Bay. The entire right-hand side is water. Left-hand side, a little room for error, but I tell you what, what an intimidating golf shot this is on this terrific par four. Like you said, water all down the right side. Then you stand here and there's water rumbling in front of you. Uh, you know just calls for very demanding tee shot. It really does. I tell you what, what a great golf course this is. Several tee boxes to choose from. So if you're a little higher handicap, you can play the white tees and it's not as intimidating from the white tees for sure. And that's an important note. It's always important to play the right set of tees because it'll make your round of golf much more enjoyable. It makes a round, round of golf enjoyable for yourself and for others behind you. No question about it. Let's take a look at the back nine here at the Links at Lighthouse Sound. We had an opportunity to play the terrific par three, number 11, just a few moments ago. But another great hole in the back nine has to be the par five, number 12. What a great par five that is. You know, you're talking about a three shot hole. Uh, you know, another hole where off the tee box, you got to, you know, carry a good amount, uh, strategically place it out there. And then as the hole, gets closer to the green, it starts to narrow up, or so the shots of precision become way more demanding. And the entire left-hand side is bordered by the St. Martins River. What a great setting for that golf hole. And then moving to a terrific par three, number 13. 13, the green kind of a, is a little bit tricky because it kind of goes away from you. So club selection there is very important. Club selection is very important there. You know, it's not, the depth of the green is not much, but it's very wide. So you can hit it right or left. It's just making sure you have the correct club selection to, to place the ball in the green so you can make a two-putt two for par. 
And then another challenging golf hole on the back nine has to be the par four 16. 16, not a long par four. Get your tee shot in play and you'll have an opportunity to make a birdie there. You know, my thought is on 16 is you played really four tough holes coming into 16, short hole can be a can be a birdie hole for you you know you hit a nice drive out there in the middle of the fairway and you're going to have a short iron in to a very to a wide green well then you play another great hole number 17 a very challenging par four and then the hole we're going to play next number 18 another opportunity to make a birdie and even sometimes you could possibly make an eagle in this par five a great risk reward hole uh you know if you hit a good drive out there you can maybe get to the green in two, you gotta hit it over some marshland, hit it over some trees, and, and hopefully uh, you come up successful. Well, let's go to 18T, see if we can't knock it in that fairway and knock it on in two. Thanks. Let's do it. Okay, you can see the green off to the left, but this is basically a double dog leg left hole here. A nice par five, you got the Ocean City skyline down the left-hand side and behind us. I'm gonna try to make a good swing and uh, hit it in the middle of the fairway here. And what wind there is today, Scott, may be helping us a little bit, so Good opportunity to make a birdie on this par five, knock it on in two. Let's see what we can do. Good swing. Get left a little bit. That's straight, not an aggressive line, but it's in the right. fairway. Good shot. We'll have a look at it from there. Ideally, we want to be a little left of that, right? Yeah, I did, you know, you could probably hit it 20 yards left of that, Bobby. That I'll was safe. safe. I would say that was safe. Yeah, the further left you hit it, the better it is, but also there's trouble lurking on that side as well. Oh, that's a good ball there. Aggressive that line. should play. It's further left than I wanted to hit it, but I'll take it. All right, Bobby, here we are at my ball, about 215, 220 out. From the right side of the green here, you took a, a little more aggressive line, have a little shorter shorter end than I do. But what a beautiful setting here, the Ocean City skyline in the background in front of this, right behind the beautiful 18th green. I tell you, just a gorgeous shot. And I tell you, Tom Akers, your superintendent here, does an outstanding job. This course always in great condition, and right now it's just perfect. It's absolutely uh, awesome. Let's see what I can do here. Oh, that's right at it. A little right of the flag I stick. I hope it's enough. Get on. Can't really tell, but it's pretty close. Good shot. Good shot. Thank you, Bobby. A little wind in our face. Let's go see what you can what you can do. Well, Scott, I have to be honest. I hit that a little far left than I wanted to hit it. And uh, as you can see, a little trouble down the left side. I barely carried the lake here. The further left you hit it, the longer the carry and the more trouble you bring it. But really, I'm in perfect position from here. 205 flag stick. I've got five. Well, let's see if I can't just knock it on here. Make a good swing at it, Bobby. All right, a little side hill lie, so may want to go left a little bit. Oh, that's a great shot. Right at it. Be right. Be right. I'm not sure if it, you can't really tell, but that's right at it. Great, great swing. Thanks. Scott, you hit a great second shot. I, I thought I hit a perfect shot as well, just a little short. It looked like I hit this hill and just kind of kicked back here, but uh, I don't want to hit it over, that's for sure. No, no, you can uh, get up and down there for your birdie. All right, see if I can't get it close. Pretty good All shot right. up there at about 10 feet. Got a putt at it. For a putt at birdie. Good chip. Scott, that was a great second shot. I tell you what, got a chance to make a three on this par five. Thank you, Bobby. A little risk reward there. Hit a good shot. If you'll put a hand on it, I'm gonna try to make this putt here. It'll be a great way to finish the round. You got it, I'll tend it for you. Stay there, hold, it, hold your line. All right. All right, not bad. Not bad at all. All right, knock your putt in from four here. Be a All nice right. birdie. Let's see what we can do here. Should move a little right. Nice confident stroke. Oh! oh just a little outside. Good effort. Good effort. All right. That's good. I'll give that one to you. All right, thanks. Knock it in, Scotty. This be a great birdie.
Good putt. All right. I tell you, what a terrific four. And, you know, that's one of the great things about this golf course. Arthur Hills did a wonderful job designing a par five that you really finished with an opportunity to make a birdie. And then after you're done your round, you sit here and you look out, you see the Ocean City skyline. It's just gorgeous. This is amazing. Uh, you know, like we talked about before, a great risk reward hole, a good way to finish a round and, you know, and be uh, happy leaving here. And then you can go into the clubhouse, which is a beautiful setting as well, uh, you know, for some drinks and some appetizers. Absolutely. And one of the great things, too, about Lighthouse Sound, you've got a terrific practice facility. When we come back right here at the links at Lighthouse Sound in Ocean City, Maryland, Scott Daly, head golf professional, will have our tip of the week. So stay with us. Hmm. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Everybody knows that, Parker. Wow. Did you know auctioneers make bad grocery store clerks? It'll be $23.50. Now $75, $23.75. Hold them, hey, to get down $23.75. $24, hey, $24, $24 and a quarter. Quarter, now half, $24 and a half and $75. And $25, now a quarter, hey, $26 and a quarter. Hold them, hey, to get down $20. You want to do it? Five and a quarter. Sold the demand in the khaki jacket. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Everybody knows that, Parker. Wow. Did you know auctioneers make bad grocery store clerks? It'll be $23.50. Now $75, $23.75. Hold them, hey, to get down $20. You want to do it? Five and a quarter. Sold the demand in the khaki jacket. Geico. 15 minutes could save you. Hey, it's Rodney. I'm out to rescue the entire East Coast and bring him to Ocean City, Maryland. We have 10 miles of that in Ocean City, Maryland. Wouldn't you rather be in Ocean City, Maryland? One thing's for sure, it's a whole lot more fun than whatever you're doing right now. Go to OCOcean.com for special deals and discounts. Great Ocean City Spring Stay and Play packages available. Two night stay and three rounds of golf starting at only $216 per person. Visit OceanCityGolf.com for all the stay and play specials. This week's golf tip is brought to you by your Central Atlantic Toyota dealer. Welcome back to the Links at Lighthouse Sound. I'm Scott Daly, head golf professional. As Bobby alluded to earlier, the beautiful practice facility that we have here off grass all year long. Uh, we have the huge putting green with several pin placements. Right now we're standing on the chipping area, short game practice area at the Links of Lighthouse Sound with a couple bunkers. Um, a great little practice facility for your short game. You know, you should try to encourage yourself to practice your short game a little more often, especially chipping and putting, so we can cut down on some strokes. Today what we're going to talk about though is putting alignment, using our ball as a tool, as, a, as an aid. Most balls are logoed you know, tailor-made Titleist pinnacle, the line is straight, or there's even a line on the side of your ball these days. I would like for you guys to start using that, pointing at the target. You know, if you think the ball is gonna break and it's at the left edge, you wanna put this logo right at the left edge, make a good solid stroke, confident stroke right at the target, and knock, knock the putt in. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, just off the left edge there. So once again, take the logo, the straight line that's on the ball, place that right at our target, put a confident stroke on it, and knock it in. Right in the center jar. Great Ocean City Spring Stay and Play packages available. Two night stay and three rounds of golf starting at only $216 per person. Visit OceanCityGolf.com for all the stay and play specials. Hmm. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Yeah, everybody knows that. Did you know there is an oldest trick in the book? What? Trick number one. Look, it's over there. Ha-ha! Made us thou look. So endeth the trick. Hey. Yes. Geico. 15 minutes could save you. Well, you know. There are some fans who are more than spectators. They're parents. They're the parents whose post-game to-do list consists of wings, burgers, and brownie sundaes. The ones who know that the best way to score family time before, during, or after the game is around a table topped with great food. The ones who celebrate the smallest achievements in the biggest way. They're the parents who are fans of their kids' passion and know exactly where to feed it. The Green Turtle. Feed your passion. Hey, it's Rodney. I'm out to rescue the entire East Coast and bring him to Ocean City, Maryland.
We have 10 miles of that in Ocean City, Maryland. Wouldn't you rather be in Ocean City, Maryland? One thing's for sure, it's a whole lot more fun than whatever you're doing right now. Go to OCOcean.com for special deals and discounts. Here's what's happening this month in Ocean City, Maryland. The Ocean City Bridal Show, April 13th at the Convention Center in Ocean City. For more information, call 410-289-7699 or visit rocksbeach.com. Ocean City welcomes the third annual Susan G. Komen Ocean City Race for the Cure on Sunday, April 13th. For more information, go to komenmd.org slash OC or call 410-938-8990. To find out about these events and more, visit OCOcean.com or call 1-800-OC-OCEAN. Great Ocean City Spring Stay and Play packages available. Two night stay and three rounds of golf starting at only $2.16 per person. Visit OceanCityGolf.com for all the stay and play specials. Whatever the season, you'll surely have the time of your life in Ocean City. Ocean City features 10 miles of beautiful golden beaches that are perfect for winter walks or summer sunbathing. Ocean City is considered one of the premier golf destinations along the Mid-Atlantic seaboard. Golfers will find 17 area championship golf courses, including Ocean City's own Eagles Landing. Eagles Landing is one of the most scenic and challenging golf courses on the eastern shore. A variety of link style holes, marsh and wetland carries with rolling Bermuda fairways make this the shore's most unique course. Ocean City Golf Club features a totally redesigned and rebuilt Newport Bay course. All 18 holes feature marsh and bay vistas and it's already recognized as one of the most beautiful and finest courses in the mid-Atlantic. Complemented by the seaside course, one of the classic layouts on the eastern shore. Nutter's Crossing. It opened in 1981 and located in Salisbury, Maryland, a short half-hour drive from Ocean City. Think of Nutter's like this. It's the perfect course to warm up on, to play midweek, or to visit on your way home. A true seaside golf course, Rum Point overlooks Assateague Island National Seashore and the Cinepuxet Bay. With no less than 17 of the 18 holes having a bay view and several holes having direct bay frontage. Designed by premier golf architect Arthur Hills, Lighthouse Sound offers a great variety in terms of both its great visual excitement and strategy. This exquisite championship course features America's longest cart bridge plus spectacular views of the Ocean City skyline. The newest addition to the Ruark Golf family is the Glen Riddle Golf Club. Just like their namesakes Man of War and War Admiral, these courses are legendary. The historic racetrack used to train champion thoroughbreds and is utilized as a strategic cross hazard on three holes. Man of War's sister course, War Admiral, is rooted through mature forests and offers a completely different golf experience. An exclusively public 18-hole championship course, Baywood Greens offers golfers the most scenic and spectacular golf on the Delmarva Peninsula. Described as the Augusta of the North, at Baywood Greens you'll experience the meticulously manicured woodside and waterside nines with eight timbered bridges and 27 acres of man-made ponds. Golf at the Bay Club is as beautiful as it is challenging. Two spectacular 7,000 par 72 18-hole championship golf courses provide a dramatic golfing experience. The tees and greens are sighted into the natural woodlands of the area. Adding to the dynamic character of your golfing experience are 426 acres of glistening lakes, natural and man-made wetland areas, strategically placed sand traps, and the incomparable Devil's Island and Paradise Island greens that are sure to get your attention. Delaware's premier golf course is the Bayside Resort Golf Club. The Jack Nicklaus Signature Golf Course is a featured amenity of this waterfront golf community. Special care was taken to leave Bayside's environmental wetlands and woodlands in their natural state. The resort golf course also has dramatic views of Asswoman Bay's breathtaking coastline, a challenge for all levels of play every day of the year. Bear Trap Dunes Golf Club offers one of the area's most unique and memorable golf experiences on the eastern shore and is located in Ocean View, Delaware, just three miles west of Bethany Beach. Winding bent grass fairways are lined with native wetland grasses that drift into stunning sand dunes on this natural golf course. Heritage Shores Club, featuring the design of leading golf course architect Arthur Hills, this meticulously manicured golf course offers a challenging design with water flanking a majority of the holes. Ocean Pines Golf and Country Club is home to the Delmarva Peninsula's only championship golf course designed by the legendary Robert Trent Jones Sr. Enjoy a round of golf on this challenging 18-hole championship course nestled amid natural wetlands and scenic woodlands. 
Come enjoy Ocean City, Maryland, and enjoy all it has to offer. Call 800-40C-GOLF to book your next golf vacation to this legendary golf destination. Ocean City, Maryland, close to home, close to perfect. There are some fans who are more than spectators. They're parents. They're the parents whose post-game to-do list consists of wings, burgers, and brownie sundaes. The ones who know that the best way to score family time before, during, or after the game is around a table topped with great food. The ones who celebrate the smallest achievements in the biggest way. They're the parents who are fans of their kid's passion and know exactly where to feed it. The Green Turtle. Feed your passion. Hey, it's Rodney. I'm out to rescue the entire East Coast and bring him to Ocean City, Maryland. We have 10 miles of that in Ocean City, Maryland. Wouldn't you rather be in Ocean City, Maryland? One thing's for sure, it's a whole lot more fun than whatever you're doing right now. Go to OCOcean.com for special deals and discounts. Pay my bill. Your account is already paid in full. Oh, huh. well, in that case, back to vacation mode. Boots and pants and boots and pants and boots and pants and boots and pants and boots and Voice enabled bill pay. Just a tap away on the Geico app. Hmm, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Yep, everybody knows that. Well, did you know that some owls aren't that wise? Don't forget I'm having brunch with Megan tomorrow. Who? Seriously, you met her like three times. Who? Geico. Great Ocean City Spring Stay and Play packages available. Two night stay and three rounds of golf starting at only $2.16 per person. Visit OceanCityGolf.com for all the stay and play specials. Well, that's all the time we have for this week's edition of Endless Golf from the beautiful Lynx at Lighthouse Sound here in Ocean City, Maryland. A special thank you goes out to my good friend, head golf professional right here at Lighthouse Sound, Scott Daly, for his wonderful hospitality. Until next time, I'm your host, Bobby Vermillion. Hit them straight. So long, everybody. Thanks for watching Endless Golf with Bobby Vermillion. Endless Golf is brought to you by Ocean City, Maryland. Visit OCOcean.com for great deals and discounts. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Visit us at Geico.com or call 1-800-947-AUTO. The Green Turtle Sports Bar and Grill with over 25 locations. Meet you at the Turtle. And by Ocean City Golf Getaway. Book your Ocean City Golf trip at OceanCityGolf.com.